The RF jamming system is sending a radio frequency signal to the drone that blocks the communication channels. And that ray allows us to, to force the drone to land or to return to its base. Our system is very quick to respond. From detect track to disruption takes just 15 seconds. The most obvious threat is the risk of collision by a drone with an aircraft. And so I, I think it is generally uh, understood that it's a question of just when rather than if that event will happen.